to start off with some sweet dreams and beautiful nightmares. Mm. Maybe not so beautiful for Beyonce fans. We've been talking about it already. The singer brought, brought the renaissance to the na nation's capital this weekend, performing near sold out shows at FedEx Field both Saturday and Sunday. But Ashley can attest to this. Things got real messy late last night. And uh, Fox 5's Bob Barner joins us now live from FedEx Field with more on the chaos and why fans didn't let it break their soul. <laughs> Bob, we're raising a glass to you, sir. Cheers to you guys. Hey, you know, Aaron, most everyone who uh, endured the rain last night and saw the concert, like Ashley, Marissa, Jeanette uh, was there, and uh, Jacqueline and Sharin, uh, all said that the show was great because Beyonce sang in the rain and it was awesome. But I want to show you what it looked like getting to that point. The, 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 the concert was supposed to start at 8. I, I think she started at 10 o'clock, so two hours late. And people were just in the pouring rain for like an hour trying to get in. You had security and police telling people to stay out, that uh, it, it was for their own safety. Some ordered back to their cars to shelter in place there, others to come uh, inside and, and stay in the concourse. Jacqueline Matter shot this while she was sheltering in her car. Um, so it was a chaotic time, and the question is, like, how did the communication go? Um, tensions were high. People were concerned. Were they ever going to get in? Um, it was hot. People were passing out. Uh, had a chance to speak, and this is video that uh, Jeanette shot of Beyonce performing in the pouring rain. Again, a great show, but getting to this point, one of the people in the crowd there uh, was Trina Edmonds with her 12-year-old daughter. I had a chance to speak to her via Zoom just a short time ago. By the time we went through security, rain was pouring down. So we went to the next gate. And right when we got to the next gate, that's when we, it was total chaos. They said that we could not come in. So it was a crowd behind us. People were getting upset because they were not communicating with us. We literally had to ask them over and over again, what's going on, what's going on? They, we were told that everyone in the inside had to shelter in place. They could not let us in. But this was after us waiting over an hour outside. So by then, everyone is upset. Kids are crying, like some of the little girls that were so excited because my daughter, we were worried that we weren't going to get in in time to see the show. I just want FedEx to do better, do better, because again, that was my daughter's first concert. And overall, though Beyonce was fantastic, the staff just, it was just horrible. <laughs> And one of the things Trina also told us is that uh, when she got her ticket, she paid $65 for parking, premier parking here in the parking lot. But when she got here uh, late in the day yesterday, there were no parking attendants. So she pulled in, parked, talking to other people. They said they didn't pay for parking. So here she was. She paid an extra $65 uh, on top of what she paid for uh, her daughter and herself to see the concert. And it was for naught. So the communication, the whole, the whole thing, besides the actual performance, was, was a downer, not only for Trina, but a number of people who've reached out to us today, guys.